guys, in today's video we're going to talk about the caterpillar. Yay! It's a really cool pole dance trick. It's an intermediate level trick. You need to be able to invert and um, get onto the pole into an inverted crucifix position before you try this move. It requires a lot of leg grip, not necessarily a lot of arm strength. Um, and it's a really fun way to travel down the pole if you're looking to get down to the floor in a more interesting way than just sliding down. Or it can work as like a stationary move, um, just doing it on the spot, which I'll show you. Um, we can also, once we get to advanced level, we can use it as a way of getting back up the pole. We can make it go backwards and climb, which is really exciting. But first we want to get the, um, the motion going down the pole in the correct way first. It's just like a basic body roll, except upside down in the air, which is pretty awesome. So let's break it down. So in the caterpillar, what we're doing is essentially a body roll. So to break it down, what's happening first is the chest is moving. The chest is initiating all of the movement and then your butt. So just for a moment, disregarding the fact that we're upside down in the pole, what's going to happen is we're going to lock the arms out to push the chest up and away from the pole. From here, what we're going to do is we're going to roll back through the spine. We're going to then bring the hips away. Once the hips are all the way out, we're going to dive back down. We're going to get the chest first. Chest comes back in, and butt comes back in. So, try this a few times on the floor. That way you can get your head around the movement and get that coordination going. So, first, arms push out, chest goes away. We're going to bring the hips down and away. Push the bum out, chest slides back in, and all the way down again. So, now that we've got that, we're going to try this of the pole, getting into a basic inverted crucifix. So let me just come around this side of the pole. So up we go, lifting up, remember, no jumping. Both legs up, pushing hips all the way to the pole to get into your inverted crucifix, knees, knees together. Chest lining up with the pole and hanging here. You need to be confident with no hands here, using all your leg grip to grip you on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place one hand at shoulder level, one hand on belly button in a cup grip, so put the fingers around the same side. It doesn't matter which hand you have on the bottom, whatever feels better for you. So first of all, with my bottom arm, I'm going to lock it out, so I'm going to bring my chest away, keep that other hand up my belly button. I'm going to push my butt up the palm as high as I can, slide my chest back down, just like a basic body roll, leaving my bum last. Once I get to here, I'm going to replace the hands, just check that the form is good again. One hand. Uh, shoulder height or face level. Other hand stays in my belly. Lock the arm out. Push your chest away. Arch your back. Push your hips up. Squeeze your knees together as high as you can. Once you get to here, slide your chest into the pole and put the back to again. Let me just come down for a second here and then I'll show you one more time from a different angle. So the important thing is to Take each movement one piece of your body at a time. In your caterpillar, I often see that we're trying to do everything all at once, which makes it really, really difficult, and we don't want that. Remember, always find the easiest way. Take it one piece at a time, just like you would with your basic body roll. It's also really important that your legs are gripping on super tight here. Remember, your legs are doing the work, not necessarily your arms, and also you want to keep it nice and level with the pole for your body the whole time. Don't lean side to side, keep everything in a nice straight line, you're just going in and out, up and down, not side to side. So, let me show you from, I just went on this side, so I'm going to show you from this side, just to give you perhaps a different angle, so you can see the arms a bit better. Okay, so here we go. Again, I'm going to version three six, one hand shoulder height, one hand to belly button height. So you just twist it around again, that's a little bit better. So lock your arm, chest away, look it up. Now, pushing up through the butt, this is the hard part, suck your belly in, use your core muscles and put it as high as you can. Line your chest with the pole, chest comes back in, keep your butt out until you're all the way down again. One more time. Lock the arm out, chest lifting. Butt pushes up, pull your belly in, you can use your elbow if you want. So we're going to slide chest out, keep me in contact with the pole, and hips come down again. Now, I'm just going to do a plank down pole. 
one right there. So you can do as many caterpillars, as many of those blood rolls as you like, and as you have space to do. Starting at one or two is a good way, um, and then you can build it up from there to make it a more interesting way to travel down the hill. Of course, if you climb it inward, you can have more space, so if you feel ready for that, please help yourself to climb inward, and you can make it a really beautiful transition the whole way down the hill. Um, yeah, have fun with that. Uh, remember to send in your progress YouTube videos and post them on the private Facebook group as well. Good luck, guys! So first I'm going to show you a conditioning exercise which is very helpful for building up the core strength that's required in order to do the caterpillar. First I'll just show you what it looks like. Just converting from the floor, basic three sticks, hands down into a basic hands down position, keeping your um, body against the pole. Hands up, guys, another hand with your slow away from the pole. What I'm going to do is slide my knees down the pole, bringing my butt away. Grip the pole nice and tight between your knees. And from here, keep my hands on the floor, I'm going to bottom roll in, so chest goes down to the pole, bone comes in, I'm going to cobra out, and push my bum up again. So all the way up to that highest point I can. Again, chest goes down first, if so you come up with the pole, bend your arms, slide down, chest comes away, once your hips come all the way back in, and all the way back up again. Now these are going to build you some serious strength in your arms, as well as in your core, to get out. Once you hips are back in, put your legs on the pole and come back down. So sorry, as I was saying, it's going to build you a lot of um, arm strength as well as core strength. It will get you um, in the zone of doing your caterpillar once you get off the pole, which is very, very helpful. So feel free to try that once or twice. Feel comfortable there. Make sure you know what you're doing before we try to pull. Awesome.